Hi, I'm John Storms, and I'm continuing my little series on getting my uh, Lightorama controllers working in DMX mode. Um, you don't have to do anything to the controllers themselves. They automatically figure out if someone's talking DMX to them. But you do need a DMX interface. So, in my last set of videos, I used this E131 SACN to DMX interface, which is a DMX bridge to hook up the controllers. Um, today, I'm going to do something just a little different. Uh, torn down most of my light display for the 2015 season, and now I have my Falcon F16 V2 uh, inside, and I'm going to hook him up. Uh, I've made a couple of cables, but this one I happen to have bought from uh, Holiday Coro, and this is a crossover cable. These are regular Cat5 cables, but to go from the DMX interface directly to the Lightorama, you need a special crossover cable and they are they are not interchangeable so this side needs to go to the Lightorama so I plug him in right there the other end goes into these ports so these four ports on the Falcon are RS45 serial output ports and you have one two three four so you can actually have four um, DMX universes hanging off of those just like my uh, other bridge has four outputs, so does this one. So this does everything my bridge does, plus it's a pixel controller. So I'm just going to plug the other end in here, and then I plug in the pixel controller. It starts up. Falcon Christmas! And it's booted up to 192.168. 1.211. So now I'll go to the PC. Okay, so here I am. I'm in Lightorama, and this is the same little sequence I had for the other one. Basically, I have channels for DMX50 channels all the way 1 through 512. So I basically create every channel for DMX Universe 50. Um, and this is what I used for the last one. So now what I do is I go to Edit. Network Preferences, of course, you have to make sure that Allow DMX Editing is checked. But I am headed for Network Preferences. I'm on the DMX tab. And I am doing this on Universe 50. And when I did my bridge, I w it only did multicast. But in this case, the Falcon F16 does unicast. And whenever I can do unicast, I do because it's a little bit nicer on my network. So I put in 192.168. 1.211, which is the IP address of my Falcon controller. I click OK, and I can see here it's updated. It's going to be doing over E131. I click Apply. It says I have to restart stuff. I click OK. I'm going to close this down. And then I'm going to reopen it. Okay, so there's that. So now what I need to do is I need to configure the Falcon itself. Now I had it unplugged because I get a lot of fan noise, so hopefully you can still hear me after I plug this guy back in. He's booting up. Okay, he's up. So first thing I do is I go to E131 configuration, and I have this set for seven universes. Oh, I had it set for six, but what you do is you bump it up by one, hit set, you get a new line, and I guess I've already done this, and you put universe 50 into your E131 setup. That way, the, the pixel controller knows that when it sees universe 50, that it belongs to him, and he needs to do something with it. Then you go over to Serial Outputs, and I have it connected up to Output 1. Now the type is DMX, you can also have PixelNet and Renard, but DMX is the straight, is, uh, is just straight old regular DMX. And then Universe 50, Start Address 1. Okay, now you hit Save on all that. Come over here to Status, I hit Play. It's doing its thing. I come over here and you can see the packet counts are jumping up. And if we look over at the lights themselves. 
the lights are working the way they're supposed to be. Okay, so what this shows is that the Falcon F-16 V2 can be used as a DMX bridge for um, a uh, LiDARAMA network. You just need to make sure you get the crossover cable and that's really the, uh, the only tricky part.